Aquarius, welcome to Reading Journey. I'm Journey, and I'm doing a reading for the sun, moon, rising sign of Aquarius. Aquarius, every Saturday is where you will find your readings here at this channel. And um, if you want to know more about me, or if you want more readings, you can go to the link in the description box below. If it doesn't week, work week, it's a retrograde, forgive me. If it doesn't work, you can always open up a new tab and type it in there. All right, so let's take a look here. Ooh, I like it. I like it, Aquarius. What is this beautiful energy? Aquarius, you are definitely changing. There's something changing for you. And, of course, change isn't always easy. But I really feel that you've grown quite a lot, right? You could be hiding behind this change or trying to attempt to mask yourself from this change, but people see it. Okay, and it could be because you're doing because you're doing something out of your comfort zone. This is not the you that was five years ago or even six months ago or even a year ago. This is a different Aquarius. And what I feel, Aquarius, is that you're trying to hide, not let people know that you grow and know so much. You may have added some in, um I, you may have ascended my love i feel like whoever i'm talking to this aquarius you have some type of psychic powers or healing powers some type of psychic healing gift or you have your you're very in tune you're a healer you're empathic but i feel more so you've got some type of spiritual gift that is here to help the collective and i think you're becoming aware of it it might spook you out a little bit or was spooking you out, but now you're just kind of like, well, dang, I guess this is who I am. You know, it, it's clear to me with this sun here. I feel like it's clear to you. You could also have a Leo moon, but this is who you truly are, my love. This is who you truly are. And I feel like you're a little afraid or a little ashamed because you're just not used to this. And that's understandable. So, but you are quite obvious to people. Uh, people are finding you to be a weirdo. Okay, I'm seeing 22. So you're going to have to make a decision to just go ahead and, and I'm also seeing 23 again. So you may want to check out 55, the number 55. Um, so you might want to just go ahead and release and just deal with the fact that you've awakened. Everybody's got to awaken at some time, at some point in their life. And you've just awakened quicker than they have. Okay, I totally get it because you know I, that happened to me. <laughs> I've been a weirdo all my life to them. They're like, Oof, she always telling stuff. Anyway, moving on. So I do feel that again, you are at a higher frequency than those around you. So it's probably a good time to start considering. Ooh, who you're inviting into your energy. And I think you're already doing that anyway. You're already evaluating. And I, I'm also hearing dropping like flies. They're leaving anyway. Some of them are a C33. Yeah, so you bastard it. They're pretty much leaving on their own. Or you're just like, I can't even be around them anymore. It's just, it's just very uncomfortable. Um, so I feel like you're, you're, you are allowing, you are letting... The universe do what it needs to do. But like I said, you're not letting everybody know. You're kind of keeping it hidden, trying to keep it hidden. But at the same time, you are allowing things to come to you. You are allowing that the universe speak to you. You're allowing to learn. I also feel like you're learning in secret. You could be reading a lot of books, um, trying to find out what's going on with you. Why are you acting like this? You know, you're doing, or you could just be researching the internet or something, but Main thing is you're doing your research. Again, connect connect yourself with source. So again, I feel like so fuego frequencies. I also feel like you may be listening to like 425 hertz, 432 hertz. You could be listening to like things that are really helping to ground you. You could be searching out the esoteric, learning about healing, yoga, things of that nature and i see 44 so and i see 444 so your angels are guiding you and this is just who you are darling there's no need to run away it's just who you are okay um i'm going it i'm hearing it will get better it will because eventually you'll get used to it 
you'll you'll get to really understand that wow i don't have to be what these other people are this is my journey like why do i even care what they think like it doesn't matter my tribe is out there there's people out there like you find them Chris. they are out there and they are waking up every day thousands like people are waking up because we have to we need you at this time because we need you at this high vibration because we're at some very um tumultuous tumultuous times right now we need all the healers and the um, people who are awakened and has to open up and step up to the plate because we need to help others to awaken as well. Otherwise, we're going to be looped in some darkness for some a long time, a long time. And I see 55 and we don't want that to happen. I'm sure you don't either. Um, I do see a lot of fives here. So you've got some massive, massive change happening here. And I'm sure you've got more coming for this year. Um, so don't be surprised and don't be, you know, alarmed. Continue to allow and let things flow. I feel that I feel like you are like, I just felt like just relaxing my arms. Like you're just like, I can't do anything. I can't make you stay. I can't make you understand. I can't, I can't. And you know, and sometimes we can't, and that's okay. Eventually, they'll catch up. Because uh, trust me, you are their learn. You're their lesson. You're teaching them that they are out of alignment, and that's what makes people feel really uncomfortable. They don't like to know that, right? They already know, but then somebody comes along who's in their circle who decides that they want to change. Now, what, Aquarius? You want to stop drinking? What? Stop eating meat? What? What are you talking about? You want to start reading tarot? Are you crazy? Astrology? What? <laughs> you want to be a doula? Get out of it. What is, what is a doula? What is that? Right? But this is who the new Aquarius is rising to be. Right? So it looks good, Aquarius. Keep allowing it in. Keep staying in the inflow state. Allowing and keeping at that high vibration. You know, more things are going to leave your life. I heard crash. So not like somebody's going to have an accident, but basically more things are going to fall away. Um, and this comes with the change. It does, especially when because we as human beings, we tend to build our, our foundations faulty, right? We think we are building some really stable foundations only to realize that, oh, geez, I'm really not a good builder at all. When I try to do stuff on my own, it don't work out. So that's what's happening. You're growing. Keep going. And um, I'm praying for you in my prayers. And again, we need you um, more than ever. More than ever. And I feel like I want to pick up another card. The Bone Collector. Let's take a look. What does she have to say? Oh, she's so smiling. Look at that cute old lady. Just so cute. All right, let's see what the bone collector has to say. What is going on again? I have two, so... All right. It says, when the bone collector appears, she is asking you to look closely at your circumstances to see if you're fully present or reacting out of past conditioning and unconscious expectations. Whenever we're wounded, especially when we're young, it's as if something essential is stolen from us. We adapt and accept a version of the truth that then sets us up to behave a certain way in the future when faced with a situation similar to the original event. What we know about ourselves thus becomes influenced by perception of limitation. And I feel like that's what had been happening. You've been living at limitations for a very, very long time. You may feel unworthy or without courage. You may see yourself as flawed or unlovable or expect to be criticized. The bone collector reminds you that the truth is that you are a powerful being with limitless possibilities she has kept safe. She has kept safe what was stolen from you in the wounding. Oh, how nice. And is here for you to reclaim it. That's what's up. Hey, to reclaim it now. You have everything you believe you lack, and the bone collector is your inner resource. Act as if you have what you need, and you'll find you have it all. You have it after all. Anything is possible. With awareness, the wounds of the past need not define you beautiful what a beautiful beautiful ending all right i appreciate you i hope you found this helpful thank you so much if you like this video hit the like button if you want more videos like this 
hit the subscribe. And if you want to know more about me, you can go to the link in the description box. And if you can't click on the link again, you can open up a tab and type it in there and that will take you to me. It's very easy. Other than that, I will see you next Saturday. Bye-bye.